Hi, this is Patrice Burkhart, and this is Negative Painting. Um, this is a work in progress. Notice that the white has been applied unevenly. This is for purpose. Using four colors for this demo, um, two warms and two cools. And here's the area that we're going to focus on. This is done in time lapse. Here's one of the warm greens. And as I apply it on top of the white, notice I, I'm not doing much but just putting it on. And it's pretty evenly distributed, but it doesn't look that way because the white was not evenly distributed. Now I'm coming back with the cool green, like a green blue. And what's interesting is when you're using acrylic paint, um, putting it on white paint versus putting it on a darker color, very different, which in many ways is good. You get a lot of interesting shapes popping up. Now I'm not going to cover all of the white because that can be one of the colors in this field. All right, I went, now I'm doing a warm color here, warm yellow. And uh, going back over it. And in nature, we view the world cool and warm patterns. yellow ochre, uh, it might be yellow oxide, um, when you put it on top of that purple or purpley green dark, um, behaves very strangely, kind of almost falls into a black hole. And I think this is the purple, yes. Now the purple is interesting, it's pretty transparent. And when you put, add purple to a green or yellow, it tends to create um, dull colors, which you need a little bit of the dull color in order to make the other colors come forward, create a little depth. So where it hits a white, it's going to look more purple, of course, and then it'll start to dull the other colors if they're uh, still wet or even if they're not, and create a little bit of like a grayish purple shadow. And now we've gone back to another cool, the cool blue-green. Now, notice when I apply the same color, the same amount, here we go, right there, where I just put it on the white, there it is, um, that's its true color. And then when I apply it down onto that purpley, dark purple, it really dulls it down and creates a whole different color without any mixing at all. And that's dry. This is what we want. And I know beginning students are, are very hesitant in painting this way because they're not sure what's going to happen. That's the excitement. This is before. Same area after. So don't be afraid. Take no prisoners. 